Hark, we are here. It is time for a special episode of Star Wars Unlimited. Today, I get to do something fun. If you haven't noticed, over the past week, we've seen a lot of characters and content from Rebels. I have been given, courtesy of FFG, the opportunity to preview another Rebels character, and it's a doozy. This is a fun character. I think a lot of people are going to enjoy the preview that I have for you today, the exclusive preview, again, courtesy of FFG. Thank you very much for that. And without further ado, we have Ezra Bridger, resourceful troublemaker. Three cost, cunning heroism, ground unit. Three power, four health, force rebel specter. When this unit completes an attack, look at the top card of your deck. You may play it, discard it, or leave it on top of your deck. It's an uncommon number 192 out of 252 in SOR. Our focus character for the majority of Star Wars Rebels here, and this is season one, season two-ish uh, Ezra, given by the little slingshot stun gun he has that I actually like a lot. I think it's pretty clever. I know a lot of people think it's childish, but I like it. I'm enjoying it. Ezra does something that I think a lot of the Rebels characters are going to be doing, and that has to do with attacking and being aggressive. We've seen Callus is aggressive with his ambush, even though he's command. We've seen Sabine is aggressive with her leader ability and her leader attack ability that deals damage to bases because aggression. And now we have Ezra, who, even though he's cunning, wants you to attack in order to be able to get the effect. Now, I think that Ezra is actually going to be right at home with Sabine in an aggressive attacks matter deck because it allows you to gain that extra advantage of being able to play a card that you didn't necessarily have in your hand to discard a bad draw off the top of your deck or take a, a card that you want next turn but you don't want to use it this turn and place it back on top of your deck. Three attack, four health is a great profile for a three cost unit that means that it's not going to die to most other three cost units and it will take a little bit to get it off the board. A waylay will remove it from play for momentarily a Astro Sanctuary will prevent it from being able to attack that turn. An open fire will eliminate it off the board, but it is going to require an answer from your opponent if they if they don't want you to get the advantage that Ezra brings to a deck that already wants to be attacking. R2D2 wants to attack to get to check the top card of your deck. 3PO, same thing to check and potentially to draw it. But Ezra goes, hey, I want to check it. I want you to play it. I want you to discard it, or I want you to leave it back on top of your deck. I'm hoping that we can potentially see a couple of other Rebels characters that do something similar that are about attacking because one of the things that we do recognize from the series is that they do do a lot of combat. They try to escape situations when things are, are getting too bad, but they are very aggressive, especially when it comes to the Siege of the Fall or the Battle of the Fall, whatever you specifically want to call it. Fantastic character. Love this art coming. Almost feels like it's straight out of the comic book. Joshua Carson did a great job of representing the focal character of Rebels, and I am honored to be able to present this preview to you all, courtesy of FFG. Thank you very much, FFG team. I love what you guys are doing. Fantastic set of previews and recognizing the timing of showcasing a lot of the Rebels content within a specific period of time, especially while Ahsoka is currently airing and lots of cool things are coming as a result of that. So I know I am going to be playing Ezra in a deck, definitely in a Sabine deck, at least a two of, probably a three of because he is a three cost unit. A lot of three cost units in the game that are definitely going to be two to three ofs and just figuring out the rest of your curve as it goes up and back as well. One thing I will try to do, especially since I do plan on going to a bunch of events is I'm actually probably going to try to collect a bunch of these Ezra Bridgers so I can sign them because this is my preview card. This is my my opportunity to showcase to you guys, to you all, something that you haven't seen before. And again, it's a it's a privilege to be able to do so. So if anybody would be interested, if you see me in an event and I have one available or you have one you want me to sign, let's go. I, I'll, I'll bring the Sharpies. So there that is fantastic card there. Thank you once again. FFG for giving me the opportunity to preview that specific card. All of the creators, content creators that have been getting previews have been able to do some awesome things with their card and showcase different different methods of thought processes for these things. And I'm honored to be able to be a part of that group to be able to do that. Go follow Unlimited FFG for all Star Wars Unlimited information directly from the source. Follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash rabxdone. I do all these things. Obviously, you're here. You're watching this video. I've got a playlist, Star Wars Unlimited. I'll be doing videos of Star Wars Unlimited all the way through up to the release and after. Well, I'm looking to do set reviews, aspect reviews, 
box openings, gameplay, as much stuff as I can possibly stick into a week for when Star Wars Unlimited drops and then competitive prep, all these other things. We might have guests. I've got plans. I've got plans, folks. And so does FFG. So thank you very much for joining me, everybody. Like, comment, subscribe to the video. Hit that notification bell. Do all the lovely YouTube things that make it so that more people can see this video and partake in this specific preview. Share the video with a friend. Share the video to all the different sources that you have that's out there that I haven't done so myself. It'll probably be a lot since I don't really spread my wings out there because Reddit scares me. That's it. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you for joining me for this preview, and I will see you all in the stars.